Okay, so this is sketchbook assignment five. Do a drawing of a pair of shoes or boots of your choosing, with or without laces. Use one light source. Um, make sure that one shoe is coming towards you. Okay, so almost like one point perspective, as you see this here. Wider in the front, gets narrow as it goes back. The second shoe it's turned slightly away from you, so it creates a two-point perspective. So you're looking at front plane and side plane. This is just front plane drawing here. They got 1.2 point perspective set up in here. So the scale proportion is up to you, however you want to handle that. Um, you really have to pay attention to the structure of light and shadow as you're working these forms together. Okay? And don't be afraid to keep working back into the drawing. It's hugely important that you do that. Don't give up. Just because you think it's complex and it's difficult, don't give up on it. So a good thing to do is pick up on a center line. So here in that seam line of that shoe right there, shoe to the right, pick up from your pencil, hold it upright, follow that angle. That's what I did here. That line got me from here down to that corner of that toe. That's why I laid that up. And then check your diagonal lines. That's the line is here and then also in the back. Okay, vertical line coming off of here is coming down this way. So what happens with that vertical line? Where that hits, it hits back here in this portion of the shoe, but this portion of that contour curve here comes down towards the heel. Okay, so the thing that's the most, um, the easiest way, and because it is a complex drawing, so the easiest way to get into this drawing is always remember that the corner of that heel, it's the only right angle architectural form to this drawing because everything is basically organic. These shoes fit the form of your feet in organic form. So that is always a vertical line right here and right here. Both of those lines parallel to the outside edge of the page. So remember that. So when you're establishing that, you establish there as that vertical line and that's going to make, sure that that, make sure that that shoe is correct for you based upon the structure of the heel. So that heel is roughly one third of the length of the shoe. So you got to do a little bit of scale and proportion when you're looking at this. So when you're looking here, that length there, if you look at that, that's one, two, three. R roughly one third of the length of the shoe. And then you can figure out scale and proportion based upon that elevation if that's one. And then it's probably too high. So the length of that heel is one third the overall length of the shoe and um, you do go up twice and you can get the elevation of that shoe based upon that. So scale and proportions are really important when you're doing these drawings. You're looking at them. Um, okay, so vertical lines here. Now the other thing to remember that the front of the shoe is expanding. The heel is narrow going back. So when you're drawing this in that two-point perspective, this contour curve actually drops out. So if you were to look at this heel here, this one's back here, put that pencil there. This pencil is out in front of that pencil, right there. See what I mean? So that one's out in front of that one. So what's happening is that from the heel, coming towards the viewer, this contour line pulls out and drops to the lowest point on the page. Just really important to remember that. So vertical lines of the heels, pay attention to line contour, expanding form coming towards you. So when, when an object or an element comes towards you, you have to expand it, all right? Drop it lowest on the page, and that's going to help you to get into that drawing. That will help you to see that form a little bit better. All right. So anyways, um, pay attention to light and shadow. There's a lot of contour, undulation of surface on here. Um, intense lights and intense dark. So coming back into here, and you can always work back into that afterwards. Post the exercise of the drawing. You know, get that down, and then you can start pulling up those highlights even more, getting those to work for you. Coming back into here. Sometimes just a darker contour line is going to help set off that drawing and that form of that drawing. And then these areas 
when it's light and expanding and coming out, show that it's being light. That's going to help you to see that form located in space. So the other thing that happens as well is that when I look at this in one point perspective, you get a compression of form as it moves back in the space, right? So it's called foreshortening. So you see it larger here on this viewpoint, but when it's face towards you, it gets tucked back in there so it compresses, right? So that goes back or recedes, and this portion of that drawing has to come forward or back towards the viewer this way. And by doing that and establishing those curves, allows you to see the expansion of that form moving back towards you, which is nice. And it shows that element of that drawing or that portion of the shoe coming towards you and the heel going back and away from you. All right, so that's the drawing exercise for tonight. A pair of shoes, that's a sketchbook drawing. All right, thank you very much and have a good night.